The lake itself is fabulous. Uh, people see it. It's called the queen of the lakes. You can't help but love it uh, because of how beautiful it is. But it's the overall setting that's important. And, and so for us to be able to have impact there um, is critical. You know, it was Thomas Jefferson uh, who wrote in a letter to his daughter uh, back in the late 1700s that Lake George is without comparison the most beautiful water I ever most saw. beautiful water I ever saw. Formed by a contour of mountains into a basin 35 miles long and from two to four miles broad, finely interspersed with islands, its water limpid as crystal. Lake George is one of the most pristine water bodies in New York State, in the United States, and around the world. It's an ideal laboratory to do smarter planet research. IBM is very excited to be working with Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute and the Fund for Lake George to do very advanced research on the ecosystem in and around Lake George. We're really out to create a model that shows others the way, that is inspirational, that lives up to Thomas Jefferson's uh, timeless observation. I'm incredibly thrilled about the Jefferson Project. This really will uh, give us, we hope, a global model to how to study and sustain ecosystem functioning and protection. The water in a lake like Lake George is very important, not just for preserving uh, recreational uses, but for understanding how to have balanced use and preserve the quality of fresh water and water resources and water security, if you look around the world, is a real critical issue. We're talking about a new generation of scientific inquiry that is dedicated to strategic science. So this is science with a purpose, not just science for science sake, but science to realize solutions to the mounting problems, the real threats that are facing Lake George. Things like invasive species, things like runoff from the surrounding land are causing the lake's water quality to degrade. So we have a number of sensor technologies, a number of big data technologies, and a number of computational modeling techniques that we hope to bring together from around the world here at Lake George to study the impacts of these stressors on the lake. We'll be able to develop uh, models, strategies, forecasting, predictions, and hopefully protection of the lake. At the Darren Freshwater Institute, we will have a world-class data visualization center. What we will be doing is instrumenting and networking the lake. So we will put in sensors that can take those measurements real time in an automated fashion. The data will be transmitted back to our visualization computation facility. So if this can be a showcase and a model for how you in fact do that, how you can amass relevant data, how you can aggregate it, organize it, probe it, build models around it, have them be predictive and make better decisions as a consequence I mean, what else is there to say? We have students who are working here who may come from the Ecological Economics Department, from engineering, from the biological sciences or computer sciences. By having students coming from all of those different disciplines, essentially we're putting together environmental teams. It's an extraordinary opportunity. It's an unprecedented partnership. And I think the promise is uh, like nothing I've ever been involved with before. Um, I couldn't be more excited. We believe that through this deep research and this modeling and predicting of the future, uh, we'll discover many of the causes and we'll be able to model and simulate the future of the lake. This is uh, our next quantum leap that we're all very excited about. Our students, of course, will be the environmental stewards of tomorrow because they're the ones who will be here tomorrow. And if we educate them in the right way, then they will not only have the orientation to be the environmental stewards of tomorrow, they'll have the tools and the approaches to in fact uh, do that.